I'm recording, by the way. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. That was I know. Uh, welcome back to the Break Bin, guys. Uh, today we're gonna be doing just a little bit of stuff around the studio. Uh, we have to find spots for all of those sets. I'm busy sorting out this lot of Legos. Um, Bree is very excited to build the Bean There Donut. That is, isn't that what that's called or something? Yeah, it's a Target exclusive set. And how much did we get that for? Seven something. Yeah, like seven something when they were on sale a couple weeks ago. Um, I think she's excited to build it. Can we open <laughs> this, please? Yeah, I'll open it for you. Uh, but so this is the small lot that I've been uh, piecing out here. Uh, it was actually a like Star Wars mock builders. Uh, uh, a lot I don't know uh, so there's a ton of like like shrubbery which I like those pieces um, just a ton of tiny pieces there's tons and tons of these stormtroopers oh yeah that, that was the other thing there's a ton of like uh, little stormtroopers in there droids um, here's Yoda's head mm -hmm. I haven't found the rest of his body yet yes I will you didn't say when. Like right now? No. Right now? Yes, right now. Okay. <laughs> so here's a close up of that box for you guys. Uh, the set number is 40358. Being there, donut that. Uh, it has 146 pieces, which isn't that many, but you do get like four minifigures in there uh, and a cute little Dalmatian. And a ton of little donuts, of course. I, I really like that sign and the little bicycle. Um, but. For $7.99, which is what we paid for this, uh, it's pretty good uh, piece to price ratio. But when this first came out, I think it was like like $19.99 or something. Don't quote me on that, but I, I remember it being like kind of overpriced. And that's why we didn't get it at first. And we almost got it when it was like $12. Uh, and then we finally ended up getting We actually got two of these at like $7.99. Bree's going to build that up, and we'll show you when it's done. You take a million more? That's a lot of those sets. Yeah. Oh, I apologize. I thought for YouTube kids we could make believe. Make noises and sounds and play silly games and such. Hey, Frank? Yeah. Stop! <laughs> 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 Turn into a one card. Well, that was kind of lame. This uh, this lot had a ton of those little shooters in there. Oh, shooters, not for kids. But it had a ton of these little blasters in there. Like I said, this this guy built a lot of Star Wars mocks, he said. And there's still a ton more in there. Totally gonna have to wash my hands after this. I hate... It's it's like a love-hate when it comes to sorting Lego. Because it's like kind of relaxing. But at the same time, when you have a lot of it, it's, it's kind of a chore. Or like a job. And it's not that fun. I actually bought this like... How long ago? Like two months ago, I want to say. And I've just slowly been sorting it out and getting through this box. Uh, I paid like like 50 bucks for this lot, and it was uh, a little bit more full than this. I think it came with like like 13 pounds of Lego, uh, and then two of the large like are those 15? No, those are like 30 by 30 gray base plates. I want to say no, they're my goodness, I can't even remember. Yeah, no, they're 15 by 15, those large gray base plates, because they're they're like one and a half of the 10 by 10. That makes sense. Oh, here's some pants. Honey, where are my pants? Found them, they're right here. So I spotted something funny here. Right there is a teddy bear, which is so random for this lot, because like I said, it's mostly Star Wars, but then you get like random little pieces like this. I don't know if this is just out of like a larger bin or how he divvied it, divvied it up. Cause obviously this wasn't his whole collection. Um, so yeah, here's a little teddy bear and then not a couple inches away is like a Star Wars blaster, like a rifle. You're done? Mm-hmm. So here it is. A little co coffee maker and a little donut pastry stand. That spins, it has a little pie on it even. Oh. And a little donut sign here say it's a donut shop and coffee. And then the other side, a little cash register. 
weapons. And then these, I really don't know what they're for. But I think it's like a little little, little side uh, bar or something. It's really yeah, cheap, see, because they put it on there. Uh, they put their coffee cup on there. And then it has this to go outside. And this little stand. Oh my goodness! Little table. The little garbage can. A banana. <laughs> Just a random banana. That goes in the garbage can, I think. Oh. <laughs> and then a dog. Oh my goodness, a little dog. A little Dalmatian. And then a bike. What's in the basket? A helmet. Oh, makes sense. A little briefcase. What else is there? This is the barista. She has a little coffee mug on her shirt. This is the hospital lady. Oh, She's got her a phone. Oh. And then her back even has the symbol too. And then the construction worker. And the suit, the suit man. The suit man, the businessman. Okay. Well, Bree is done with her build. Unfortunately, I am nowhere even close to done sorting this out. Uh, haven't even found a home for those yet. Um, but there is one other thing that I want to show you guys. So a while back, I got some of these Sterilite containers just to help sort out the Legos. Uh, basically, right now, they're only sorted by like basic color. Uh, you can see we have our orange and yellow together because we don't have that much orange. In fact, uh, these three sets up here, I actually had to rob orange pieces from. Oh, four sets if you count this built one. I had to rob orange pieces from for the Brickitect uh, contest. And so I actually have to get more pieces to replace the ones I took out of there. Um, but sorry, where I was going with that was I got these Sterilite containers to help us organize. And I filled, I think I got like 10 of them and I filled those up. I have a couple more over at the desk, uh, but obviously I'm using those pieces. And so I got each one of those for a dollar each. And that was such a great deal and I used them all up. So I ended up getting 10 more. Uh, when Brie was at the store, and we also ended up picking up the, we ended up picking up, <laughs> we ended up purchasing uh, these larger Sterilite uh, containers, and the reason I got these is they're nice and deep, uh, but they're also really square, whereas a lot of them end up rounding out for whatever reason, it's just the design of them, but I really wanted the uh, the larger square one, for, I know over here is just a mess, but uh, a lot of like the sets that used to be in the city are still here in storage in like, like this giant Walmart box. And say it was to flood or something, it would just completely ruin all of those sets and I don't want that. So trying to take uh, steps to, pre to prevent that, we ended up picking those up to put all of these sets in. And then there's more sets in uh, some of these cardboard boxes. Uh, all of these are sets in baggies. We do have the boxes for them. Uh, but that's going to help us keep all of that organized. And then they'll stack, of course. And it'll look a lot better than just a, a, a jumbled mess. Well, while we try and get this entire LEGO studio organized, uh, we just want to say thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, Bye guys.